Okay, more like Say that knowing full well just how much competition we have in this great city. And where they got green from? Who the fuck knows? All I know is that Green was an Arizona real estate hustler who barely had enough gas money to come and pick up his own fucking check. And of course it was the boss's man, Andy Stone, who gave all the orders. Not the chairman of the fucking board, Philip Green. I understand. I understand. Now all they needed was somebody they could trust to run the casino. And who better than Ace? I mean, he was already in Vegas a couple of years and he had the fucking place clocked. A typical ace. Give him a shot at running a casino and he tries to talk you out of it. I don't know if I could do this even if I wanted to. The gaming commission would never give me a license. I have at least two dozen gambling and bookmaking pictures on me. You don't have to have a license to work in a casino. All you gotta do is apply for one. The state law says that you can work in a casino while they're processing your application. They got a 10-year backlog. But what happens when they do find out? Why would they want to find out? We're putting a hundred million into this desert here. Why would they want to lock us out? Besides, they'll never find out. All you got to do is keep changing your job title, like uh, from casino executive to food and beverage chairman. And what happens is they take your application, they put it at the bottom of the pile. I know guys been working there for 30 years don't have a license. It's a tough proposition, Andy. You know, if I did it, I'd have to run it my way. You got it. I'm serious, no interference. Nobody's gonna interfere with you running the casino, I guarantee you. Everybody start to sing, la -di -da. And that's how they got Ace to take over. They wanted him because Ace ate, slept, and breathed gambling. They worked out a real cute job title, too. Tangier's Public Relations Director. But the only thing he ever directed was the casino. He made his first bet when he was 15 years old, and he always made money. But he didn't bet like you or me. You know, having some fun with it, shit like that. What the hell did you learn how to do? He bet like a fucking brain surgeon. Place the checks properly. That's the way you do it. Yes. He had to know everything, this guy. He'd find out the kind of inside stuff nobody else knew, and that's what he put his money on. Even back home years ago, when we were first hanging out together, he'd know if the quarterback was on coke. If, you're Columbia for 20. if his girlfriend was knocked up. 20 times on Columbia. He'd get the wind velocity so he could judge the field goals. He even figured out the different bounce you got off the different kinds of wood they used on college basketball courts, you know? He'd be working on this shit day and night. There was nothing about a game he was gonna bet that he didn't know. He's got down at six. Yeah, be down at six. Yeah, Season after season, the prick was the only guaranteed winner I ever knew. But he was so serious about it all that I don't think he ever enjoyed himself. But that's just the way he was. But back then, the bosses didn't give a fuck about whether he enjoyed himself or not. To them, he was a cash register. All they had to do was ring the bell and take the money. Especially Remo, who was a fucking degenerate gambler who always lost. God, all those fucking sweets. I mean, unless Ace made his bets. Ace made more money for them on a weekend than I could do heist and joints for a month. Whatever Ace picked up on the street, he told Remo. You know, I mean, fixed fights, dope horses, crooked fucking zebras, locked in point spreads. He told fucking Remo everything. And to tell you the truth, I don't blame him. Hey. Keeping Remo happy with money was the greatest insurance policy in the world. Son of a bitch. How the hell did you get alcohol in Michigan? Nobody ever had alcohol. How the hell did you do it? Well, that's why they paid so well. You see? He never tells me nothing. Ace, where are we going for next week? Well, it's a little too early. I'd say Thursday would be good. I'll know by then. Is that all right? Okay. You come by the house? I'll come by. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Good job, that way. Keep it up. Okay, he's... Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Yeah, I'll be right up. How'd you run luck? Nicky, see that guy? Mm -hmm. Look at I am. He's making a lot of money for us. And he's going to continue making a lot of money for us. Okay. So keep a good eye on him. I like the fucking friends out there. Right? Put our brains. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. Let me take this. Too. So now, on top of everything else, I got to make sure nobody fucks around with the golden jewel. Chase, a couple of shoes.